So here we are at the show. I want to show you that we've got two RF receivers plugged in that side, two RF receivers plugged in that side, and here is the second Master QV7. This Master QV7 has been, uh, I've just plugged in and I've cleared down all the, uh, uh, all the systems, so I've done a, effectively a reset on the system. And it can see all four receivers, as you can see up there. It has a handset here, but it's not been programmed. So programming a handset as it would be before, you can go normally, you can hit the send a button, comes up with a learn, learn the handset, and then what we can do is we can push the button we want to save or comes up, and this is a touch screen as well, so we can hit the save button there. And now if you push the button, we've got a come on going on it. We have a web interface for our V7. You have to dial in the web address down here. And it's got its ID which gives you a, a low security method to protect what's going on. You have to push push that number in to the web page. When you dial it in you're presented with this. If I want to uh, uh, learn a handset on here, or let's refresh this page, there are handsets already in, into the system at the moment, as you can see. Just refresh the page. Um, so here they are. Uh, but we've got the four um, uh, RF receivers. I'll show you exactly now what's going to happen with these. I've got an identify button. If I click on this one here, you can see on the RF receiver, it's kind of bouncing up and down to show you that that's how it's in. I'm going to claim this one to say it's ours. I'll do the same with a second unit. Here's a second unit. Identified. And you can see it's been identified there. So I'm going to claim this one. The other two I'm going to ignore. On the front panel then, you can now see we only have the two RF receivers. We also have a wired button which is plugged into the back of the RF receiver which will be on the stage. It's plugged in with a CAT5 code but it connects to our i2 net. Not on the, R, not on the Ethernet system but our i2 net system. We can plug the wide button and the lamp down here so that people on the stage can control and see the queues going on. You have to add this lamp, this, uh, so we have to add this wide button into the system uh, to make it work. If I push the button on the, on the wide button, you can see on the interface it says wide button. So I'm going to collect that and learn it. So I've added that into the system. Now when I push the wide button, get a cube. If you have a road handset of a do here because we were playing around, you can actually highlight it in the web interface and you can clear the selected one very easily so you can get rid of the one handset that, that shouldn't be programmed.